When was the first artificial heart implanted? The first artificial heart was made by Dr. Robert K. Jarvik, 1946, in 1981. It was implanted in 1982 into Barney Clark. Clark lived for 112 days after the surgery. When was the first artificial heart implanted? The first artificial heart was made by Dr. Robert K. Jarvik, 1946, in 1981. It was implanted in 1982 into Barney Clark. Clark lived for 112 days after the surgery. What is a circulatory assist device? A circulatory assist device, also known as a ventricular assist device, is a mechanical circulatory machine. These pumps are used on a short-term basis to allow the patient's heart to rest while it is healing. However, they have also been used on a long-term basis to support the heart of patients awaiting a heart transplant. There are three major types of devices, counter-pulsation devices, cardiopulmonary assist devices, and left ventricular assist devices. What is a circulatory assist device? A circulatory assist device, also known as a ventricular assist device, is a mechanical circulatory machine. These pumps are used on a short-term basis to allow the patient's heart to rest while it is healing. However, they have also been used on a long-term basis to support the heart of patients awaiting a heart transplant. There are three major types of devices, counter-pulsation devices, cardiopulmonary assist devices, and left ventricular assist devices. How fast and how often does the human heart beat? The human heart beats 130 times per minute in infants and slows to 90 times per minute in a 10-year-old. By the time adulthood is reached, the heart slows to an average of 70 times per minute in men and 78 times per minute in women. The heart will beat approximately 40 million times in one year. Or about 3 billion times in an average lifetime. How fast and how often does the human heart beat? The human heart beats 130 times per minute in infants and slows to 90 times per minute in a 10-year-old. By the time adulthood is reached, the heart slows to an average of 70 times per minute in men and 78 times per minute in women. 
the heart will beat approximately 40 million times in one year. Or about 3 billion times in an average lifetime. What are the lubbed up sounds that the heart makes? Heart sounds are monitored by using a stethoscope. The characteristic lubbed up that the heart makes is due to the closing of the two sets of valves. The lub is due to closing of the atrioventricular veils. And the dup is due to the closing of the semilunar valves. What are the lubbed up sounds that the heart makes? Heart sounds are monitored by using a stethoscope. The characteristic lubbed up that the heart makes is due to the closing of the two sets of valves. The lub is due to closing of the atrioventricular valves. And the dup is due to the closing of the semilunar valves. Who invented the stethoscope? The stethoscope was invented in 1816 by René T. H. Lenoc, 1781 to 1826, a French physician. Stethoscope comes from the Greek words meaning to study the chest. Who invented the stethoscope? The stethoscope was invented in 1816 by René T. H. Lenoc, 1781 to 1826, a French physician. Stethoscope comes from the Greek words meaning to study the chest. How much blood is pumped by the heart? On average, each heart contraction pumps 2.4 ounces, 70 milliliters, of blood. The heart pumps 7,397 quarts, 7,000 liters, of blood through the body each day. How much blood is pumped by the heart? On average, each heart contraction pumps 2.4 ounces, 70 milliliters, of blood. The heart pumps 7,397 quarts, 7,000 liters, of blood through the body each day. How is the cardiac muscle supplied with blood? Cardiac muscle has its own separate circulation, the coronary circulation. There are two large coronary arteries that supply the ventricles. With the most abundant blood supply going to the left ventricle, as this chamber has the most strenuous workload.
How is the cardiac muscle supplied with blood? Cardiac muscle has its own separate circulation, the coronary circulation. There are two large coronary arteries that supply the ventricles. With the most abundant blood supply going to the left ventricle, as this chamber has the most strenuous workload. How is blood flow directed within the heart? A system of valves prevents backflow both within chambers and in the large vessels exiting the heart. The atrioventricular valves are located between the right atrium and right ventricle, tricuspid valve and left atrium and left ventricle, bicuspid valve. When the ventricles contract, blood moves back toward the atria, causing the flaps of these valves to close. The semilunar valves resemble a tripod and close after blood has exited the right ventricle, pulmonary semilunar valve, and left ventricle, aortic semilunar valve. When the ventricles are relaxed, the atrioventricular valves are open and the semilunar valves are closed. When the ventricles contract, the atrioventricular valves are closed and the semilunar valves are open. How is blood flow directed within the heart? A system of valves prevents backflow both within chambers and in the large vessels exiting the heart. The atrioventricular valves are located between the right atrium and right ventricle, tricuspid valve and left atrium and left ventricle, bicuspid valve. When the ventricles contract, blood moves back toward the atria, causing the flaps of these valves to close. The semilunar valves resemble a tripod and close after blood has exited the right ventricle, pulmonary semilunar valve, and left ventricle, aortic semilunar valve. When the ventricles are relaxed, the atrioventricular valves are open and the semilunar valves are closed. When the ventricles contract, the atrioventricular valves are closed and the semilunar valves are open. Where is the pacemaker of the heart located? The pacemaker of the heart is located in the sinoatrial, SA, node in the right atrium. Cells of the sinoatrial node generate an impulse about 75 times per minute. The pacemaker coordinates heart rate through a system of nerve fibers that spread throughout the right and left atria. Where is the pacemaker of the heart located? The pacemaker of the heart is located in the sinoatrial, SA, node in the right atrium. Cells of the sinoatrial node generate an impulse about 75 times per minute. The pacemaker coordinates heart rate through a system of 
nerve fibers that spread throughout the right and left atria. When was the first successful pacemaker invented? The first successful pacemaker was developed in 1952 by Paul Zoll, 1911-1999, in Boston. In collaboration with the Electrodyne Company. The device was worn externally on the patient's belt. It relied on an electrical wall socket to stimulate the patient's heart. Through two metal electrodes attached to the patient's chest. Wilson Great Batch. Working together with Earl Bakken, developed an internal pacemaker. It was first implanted by the surgeons Dr. William Chardak and Dr. Andrew Gage in 1960. When was the first successful pacemaker invented? The first successful pacemaker was developed in 1952 by Paul Zoll, 1911-1999, in Boston. In collaboration with the Electrodyne Company. The device was worn externally on the patient's belt. It relied on an electrical wall socket to stimulate the patient's heart. Through two metal electrodes attached to the patient's chest. Wilson Great Batch. Working together with Earl Bakken, developed an internal pacemaker. It was first implanted by the surgeons Dr. William Chardak and Dr. Andrew Gage in 1960. How can electrical activity of the heart be monitored? The electrical activity of the heart can be monitored by an electrocardiogram. Electrodes are placed at different locations on the chest and each time the heart beats. There is a wave of electrical activity through the heart muscle. This test can detect very slight changes in the heart's. Electrical activity through deflections on a monitor. An electrocardiogram can be used to detect and diagnose cardiac arrhythmias. Which are abnormalities in the heart's conduction system. How can electrical activity of the heart be monitored? The electrical activity of the heart can be monitored by an electrocardiogram. Electrodes are placed at different locations on the chest and each time the heart beats. There is a wave of electrical activity through the heart muscle. This test can detect very slight changes in the heart's. Electrical activity through deflections on a monitor. An electrocardiogram can be used to detect and diagnose cardiac arrhythmias. Which are abnormalities in the heart's conduction system. Do males or females have a higher hematocrit?
males have a higher hematocrit, since they have a greater capacity to carry oxygen in order to supply the greater muscle mass of their bodies. What are the main vessels entering and leaving the heart? The main vessels entering the right side of the heart are the inferior and superior vena cava, which return low oxygen blood to the right atrium. Blood leaves the right ventricle through the pulmonary artery to the lungs. High oxygenated blood returns to the left atrium through the left and right pulmonary veins. All blood exits the left side of the heart through the aorta. How much blood does the average sized adult human have? An adult man has 5.3 to 6.4 quarts, or 1.5 gallons, 5 to 6 liters, of blood. While an adult woman has 4.5 to 5.3 quarts, or 0.875 gallons, 4 to 5 liters. Differences are due to the sex of the individual, body size. Fluid and electrolyte concentrations, and amount of body fat. What is the amount of carbon dioxide found in normal blood? Carbon dioxide normally ranges from 19 to 50 millimeters per liter. In arterial blood and 22 to 30 millimeters per liter in venous blood. How much blood is pumped by the heart? On average, each heart contraction pumps 2.4 ounces, 70 milliliters, of blood. The heart pumps 7,397 quarts, 7,000 liters, of blood through the body each day. How is the cardiac muscle supplied with blood? Cardiac muscle has its own separate circulation, the coronary circulation. There are two large coronary arteries that supply the ventricles. With the most abundant blood supply going to the left ventricle, as this chamber has the most strenuous workload. What is an anticoagulant? An anticoagulant is any substance that prevents platelets from piling up in the inner lining, endothelium, of blood vessels. Endothelial cells naturally secrete nitric oxide and prostacyclin, which prevent platelets from sticking together. Another natural anticoagulant is heparin, which is found in basophils, a type of white blood cell, and on the surface of endothelial cells. It interferes with the process of clot formation.
How is blood flow directed within the heart? A system of valves prevents backflow both within chambers and in the large vessels exiting the heart. The atrioventricular valves are located between the right atrium and right ventricle, tricuspid valve, and left atrium and left ventricle, bicuspid valve. When the ventricles contract, blood moves back toward the atria. Causing the flaps of these valves to close. The semilunar valves resemble a tripod and close after blood has exited the right ventricle, pulmonary semilunar valve, and left ventricle, aortic semilunar valve. When the ventricles are relaxed, the atrioventricular valves are open and the semilunar valves are closed. When the ventricles contract, the atrioventricular valves are closed and the semilunar valves are open. What are the major plasma proteins? There are three major plasma proteins. Plasma proteins are produced by the liver, with the exception of gamma globulins, which are produced by lymphatic tissue or tissues. Which of the major blood types are the most common in the United States? The following table lists the blood types and their rate of occurrence in the United States. What is plasma? Plasma is the liquid part of blood. It accounts for 46 to 63 percent of total blood volume. It is mostly water with a number of dissolved substances that add to its viscosity. The majority, 92 percent, of the dissolved solutes are plasma proteins. Non-protein components include metabolic waste products, nutrients, ions, and dissolved gases. What is the Rh factor? In addition to the ABO system of blood types, blood types can also be grouped by the rhesus factor, or Rh factor, an inherited blood characteristic. Discovered independently in 1939 by Philip Levine, 1900 to 1987, and R.E. Stetson, and in 1940 by Carl Landsteiner, 1868 to 1943, and A.S. Wiener. The R.H. system classifies blood as either having the R.H. factor or lacking it. Pregnant women are carefully screened for the Rh factor. If a mother is found to be Rh negative, the father is also screened. Parents with incompatible Rh factors can have babies with potentially fatal blood problems. The condition can be treated with a series of blood transfusions.
When was the first successful pacemaker invented? The first successful pacemaker was developed in 1952 by Paul Zoll, 1911-1999, in Boston. In collaboration with the Electrodyne Company. The device was worn externally on the patient's belt. It relied on an electrical wall socket to stimulate the patient's heart. Through two metal electrodes attached to the patient's chest. Wilson Great Batch. Working together with Earl Bakken, developed an internal pacemaker. It was first implanted by the surgeons Dr. William Chardak and Dr. Andrew Gage in 1960. What hormone can be used to overcome jet lag? Jet lag occurs when an individual's biological clock is out of sync with local time. As a general rule it takes about a day for each hour of time zone change to recover from jet lag. Melatonin, available as a dietary supplement, is sometimes used to induce sleep when traveling. It is more useful when traveling east and may be taken before, during, or after traveling. It is best taken approximately 5 to 7 hours before the usual bedtime in the old time zone. Travelers should consult their physicians before using melatonin. It is not recommended for pregnant or breastfeeding women and children. Who discovered insulin? Insulin was discovered by Frederick Banting, 1891-1941. John McLeod, 1876-1935, and Charles Best, 1899-1978. Although earlier researchers had suspected that the pancreas secreted a substance that controlled the metabolism of sugar. It was not proved until 1922, when Banting, McLeod, and Best announced their discovery. The Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1923 was awarded to Banting and McLeod. Banting shared his half of the prize with Best, while McLeod shared his half of the prize with James Bertram Calip, 1892-1965, who had also collaborated with the team. What is a circulatory assist device? A circulatory assist device, also known as a ventricular assist device, is a mechanical circulatory machine. These pumps are used on a short-term basis to allow the patient's heart to rest while it is healing. However, they have also been used on a long-term basis to support the heart of patients awaiting a heart transplant. There are three major types of devices, counter-pulsation devices, cardiopulmonary assist devices, and left ventricular assist devices. How does diabetes insipidus differ from diabetes mellitus?
Diabetes mellitus results from an inability to produce insulin. While diabetes insipidus is the result of the pituitary not releasing sufficient quantities of antidiuretic hormone, ADH. Water conservation at the kidneys is impaired and excessive amounts of urine are excreted. What is the function of glucagon? Glucagon is secreted when the blood glucose levels fall below normal values. Glucagon stimulates the liver to convert glycogen to glucose, which causes the blood glucose level to rise. Glucagon also stimulates the production of glucose from amino acids and lactic acid in the liver. Glucagon stimulates the release of fatty acids from adipose tissue. When blood glucose levels rise, the secretion of glucagons decreases as part of the negative feedback system. Who invented the stethoscope? The stethoscope was invented in 1816 by René T. H. Lenoc, 1781-1826, a French physician. Stethoscope comes from the Greek words meaning to study the chest. What are the lubbed up sounds that the heart makes? Heart sounds are monitored by using a stethoscope. The characteristic lubbed up that the heart makes is due to the closing of the two sets of valves. The lub is due to closing of the atrioventricular valves. And the dup is due to the closing of the semilunar valves. How common is erythroblastosis fetalis? Erythroblastosis fetalis, hemolytic disease of the newborn, is extremely rare today because physicians carefully track Rh status. An Rh negative woman who might carry an Rh positive fetus is given an injection of a drug called ROGAM. This injection is actually composed of anti Rh antibodies, which bind to and shield any Rh positive fetal cells that might contact the woman's cells, sensitizing her immune system. ROGAM must be given within 72 hours of possible contact with RH positive cells, including giving birth, terminating a pregnancy, miscarrying, or undergoing amniocentesis. What is the difference between plasma and serum? Plasma is whole blood minus cells and serum is plasma minus clotting proteins. Serum is collected by allowing blood to clot. What is seasonal affective disorder, SAD?
Seasonal affective disorder is a type of depression that affects some individuals during the winter months when there is less sunlight. One hypothesis is that since there are fewer hours of daylight during the winter months, the production of melatonin is affected, resulting in physical ailments such as drowsiness and lethargy. Additional symptoms of SAD include a craving for carbohydrates, increased appetite, weight gain, and mood swings. Many researchers believe light therapy is an effective treatment for SAD. Light therapy, also called phototherapy, involves sitting near a specially designed light box that produces a strong light. Most light boxes emit a light of 2,500 to 10,000 lux which is between the average living room lighting of 100 lux and a bright sunny day of about 100,000 lux. When was melatonin first discovered? Melatonin was discovered by Aaron B. Lerner, 1920, in 1958. Richard J. Wertman did much of the pioneering research on the benefits of melatonin. Where is the pacemaker of the heart located? The pacemaker of the heart is located in the sinoatrial, SA, node in the right atrium. Cells of the sinoatrial node generate an impulse about 75 times per minute. The pacemaker coordinates heart rate through a system of nerve fibers that spread throughout the right and left atria. What is the function of insulin? Insulin is secreted when blood glucose levels rise above normal values. One of the most important effects of insulin is to facilitate the transport of glucose across plasma membranes. Allowing the diffusion of glucose from blood into most body cells. It also stimulates the production of glycogen from glucose. The glucose is then stored in the liver to be released when blood glucose levels drop. How are components of blood separated? A blood sample is centrifuged, which separates it into two components. Plasma, 55%, and formed elements, 45%. Further centrifugation will separate plasma into proteins, water, and dissolved solutes. Additional centrifugation of the dissolved solutes will separate into platelets leukocytes, and erythrocytes. Which medical condition is caused by the body's inability to produce or use insulin? Diabetes mellitus, from the Greek, meaning siphon or to pass through. 
and meli, meaning honey, is a disorder of the metabolism caused when the pancreas either produces little or no insulin. Or when the cells do not respond appropriately to the insulin that is produced. Glucose builds up in the blood, overflows into the urine, and passes out of the body. As a result, the body does not benefit from glucose as a source of energy. When was the first artificial heart implanted? The first artificial heart was made by Dr. Robert K. Jarvik, 1946, in 1981. It was implanted in 1982 into Barney Clark. Clark lived for 112 days after the surgery. Where is the pineal gland located? The pineal gland, from the Latin pinea. Meaning pine cone, is a small gland located in the midbrain at the posterior end of the third ventricle. How fast and how often does the human heart beat? The human heart beats 130 times per minute in infants and slows to 90 times per minute in a 10-year-old. By the time adulthood is reached, the heart slows to an average of 70 times per minute in men and 78 times per minute in women. The heart will beat approximately 40 million times in one year. Or about 3 billion times in an average lifetime. How can electrical activity of the heart be monitored? The electrical activity of the heart can be monitored by an electrocardiogram. Electrodes are placed at different locations on the chest and each time the heart beats. There is a wave of electrical activity through the heart muscle. This test can detect very slight changes in the heart's electrical activity through deflections on a monitor. An electrocardiogram can be used to detect and diagnose cardiac arrhythmias which are abnormalities in the heart's conduction system. How many different types of cells are found in the islets of longer Hans? There are four different types of cells in each of the islets of Langerhans. The four groups of cells are alpha cells, beta cells, delta cells, and F cells. The two most important types of cells are alpha cells, which produce glucagon, and beta cells, which produce insulin. When was the structure of insulin determined? The full structure of insulin, a peptide hormone, 
was determined in 1955 by Frederick Sanger, 1918. It was the first protein to have its full structure determined. Sanger won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1958 for his research. Which vein is usually used to collect blood? Fresh blood is usually collected from the median cubital vein. Inside the elbow, in a procedure is called veiny puncture. If only a small amount of blood is needed, the tip of a finger, an ear lobe. The big toe, or heel, in infants, are common areas for a pinprick. What are the functions of the pineal gland? The physiological functions of the pineal are unclear. It secretes the hormone melatonin, which appears to be associated with circadian rhythms and setting the biological clock. Melatonin is mostly released at night when it is dark and its secretion diminishes during the day when it is light. The release of melatonin can be influenced by artificially mimicking day and night. Such as with indoor lighting, also, its effects on sleep explain why it is used in some medications to induce sleep. What are the symptoms of a heart attack? Although some heart attacks are sudden, most heart attacks start slowly, with mild pain. The following are signs of a heart attack, one chest discomfort. Usually in the center of the chest and lasting more than a few minutes too. Discomfort in other areas of the upper body. Such as one or both arms, the back, neck, jaw, or stomach 3. Shortness of breath 4. What are the symptoms of a heart attack? Although some heart attacks are sudden, most heart attacks start slowly, with mild pain. The following are signs of a heart attack, one chest discomfort. Usually in the center of the chest and lasting more than a few minutes too. Discomfort in other areas of the upper body. Such as one or both arms, the back, neck, jaw, or stomach 3. Shortness of breath 4. Other signs such as nausea, lightheadedness, or breaking out in a cold sweat what is echocardiography? Echocardiography is a non-invasive method for studying the motion and internal vessels of the heart. This method uses ultrasound beams, which are directed into the patient's chest by a transducer. The transducer uses the ultrasonic waves, which are directed back from the heart to form an image. An echocardiogram can show internal dimensions of the chambers, valve motion, blood flow, 
and the presence of increased pericardial fluid, blood clots, or tumors. Other signs such as nausea, lightheadedness, or breaking out in a cold sweat what is echocardiography? Echocardiography is a non-invasive method for studying the motion and internal vessels of the heart. This method uses ultrasound beams, which are directed into the patient's chest by a transducer. The transducer uses the ultrasonic waves, which are directed back from the heart to form an image. An echocardiogram can show internal dimensions of the chambers, valve motion, blood flow, and the presence of increased pericardial fluid, blood clots, or tumors. How does exercise affect the heart? Regular exercise increases the amount of blood the heart can eject with each beat. So fewer beats per minute are needed to maintain cardiac output. Exercise can increase cardiac output from 300 to 500 percent. And increase heart rate up to 160 beats per minute. Individuals who exercise regularly tend to have lower resting heart rates. How does exercise affect the heart? Regular exercise increases the amount of blood the heart can eject with each beat. So fewer beats per minute are needed to maintain cardiac output. Exercise can increase cardiac output from 300 to 500 percent. And increase heart rate up to 160 beats per minute. Individuals who exercise regularly tend to have lower resting heart rates. What are the blood vessels and their function? Blood vessels form a closed circuit that carries blood from the heart to the organs, tissues, and cells throughout the body and then back to the heart. The blood vessels include arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, and veins. Arteries carry blood away from the heart under high pressure. The arteries subdivide into smaller, thinner tubes called arterioles. As the arterioles approach capillaries, the walls of the vessels become very thin. Capillaries have the smallest diameter of all the blood vessels. They connect the arterioles with the venules. Venules continue from the capillaries to form the veins. What are the blood vessels and their function? Blood vessels form a closed circuit that carries blood from the heart to the organs, tissues, and cells throughout the body and then back to the heart. The blood vessels include arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules, and veins. 
Arteries carry blood away from the heart under high pressure. The arteries subdivide into smaller, thinner tubes called arterioles. As the arterioles approach capillaries, the walls of the vessels become very thin. Capillaries have the smallest diameter of all the blood vessels. They connect the arterioles with the venules. Venules continue from the capillaries to form the veins. What are the differences between arteries and veins? Both arteries and veins have three tissue layers, the inner lining, endothelium. The middle layer, smooth muscle, and the outer layer, connective tissue. However, the walls of the arteries are much stronger and thicker. To accommodate the blood under high pressure as it exits the heart. Many veins have valves to help return the blood to the heart. What are the differences between arteries and veins? Both arteries and veins have three tissue layers, the inner lining, endothelium. The middle layer, smooth muscle, and the outer layer, connective tissue. However, the walls of the arteries are much stronger and thicker. To accommodate the blood under high pressure as it exits the heart. Many veins have valves to help return the blood to the heart. What is an aneurysm? An aneurysm is a bulge in the weakened wall of an artery, most often the aorta. It is similar to what one would see when there is a bubble in the wall of a garden hose. If an aneurysm becomes large enough, it can burst. Resulting in a stroke if it is in a brain artery or massive hemorrhage if it is the wall of the aorta. If an aneurysm bursts, the massive bleeding is often fatal. What is an aneurysm? An aneurysm is a bulge in the weakened wall of an artery, most often the aorta. It is similar to what one would see when there is a bubble in the wall of a garden hose. If an aneurysm becomes large enough, it can burst. Resulting in a stroke if it is in a brain artery or massive hemorrhage if it is the wall of the aorta. If an aneurysm bursts, the massive bleeding is often fatal. What is the difference between arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis? Arteriosclerosis, also known as hardening of the arteries, occurs when the arterial walls thicken and then harden as calcium deposits form. If the coronary vessels are affected, this is known as coronary artery disease. 
Atherosclerosis is another type of hardening of the arteries in which lipids, particularly cholesterol, build up on the side arterial walls. Risk factors for atherosclerosis include cigarette smoking, a high fat slash high cholesterol diet, and hypertension. What is the difference between arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis? Arteriosclerosis, also known as hardening of the arteries, occurs when the arterial walls thicken and then harden as calcium deposits form. If the coronary vessels are affected, this is known as coronary artery disease. Atherosclerosis is another type of hardening of the arteries in which lipids, particularly cholesterol, build up on the side arterial walls. Risk factors for atherosclerosis include cigarette smoking. A high fat slash high cholesterol diet, and hypertension. What is the largest artery in the human body? The aorta is the largest artery in the human body. In adults, it is approximately the size of a garden hose. Its internal diameter is 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, and its wall is about 0.079 inches, 0.2 centimeters, thick. What is the largest artery in the human body? The aorta is the largest artery in the human body. In adults, it is approximately the size of a garden hose. Its internal diameter is 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters, and its wall is about 0.079 inches, 0.2 centimeters, thick. What is the largest vein in the human body? The largest vein in the human body is the inferior vena cava. The vein that returns blood from the lower half of the body back to the heart. What is the largest vein in the human body? The largest vein in the human body is the inferior vena cava. The vein that returns blood from the lower half of the body back to the heart. What is a capillary bed? A capillary bed is a spiderweb-like network that connects the arterial system with the venous system in a particular body region. A capillary bed may receive blood from more than one artery.
What is a capillary bed? A capillary bed is a spider web like network that connects the arterial system with the venous system in a particular body region. A capillary bed may receive blood from more than one artery. What are the functions of capillaries? Capillaries are perhaps the most important of the blood vessels because they are the primary exchange points of the cardiovascular system. Gases, nutrients, and metabolic byproducts are exchanged between the blood in capillaries and the tissue fluid surrounding body cells. The materials exchanged move through capillary walls by diffusion, filtration, and osmosis. What are the functions of capillaries? Capillaries are perhaps the most important of the blood vessels because they are the primary exchange points of the cardiovascular system. Gases, nutrients, and metabolic byproducts are exchanged between the blood in capillaries and the tissue fluid surrounding body cells. The materials exchanged move through capillary walls by diffusion, filtration, and osmosis. How big are capillaries? The diameter of a capillary is about 0.0003 inches, 0.0076 millimeters, which is just about the same as a single red blood cell. A capillary is only about 0.04 inches long, 1 millimeter. If all the capillaries in a human body were placed end to end, the collective length would be approximately 25,000 miles, 46,325 kilometers, which is slightly more than the circumference of the Earth at the equator, 24,900 miles, 46,139 kilometers. How big are capillaries? The diameter of a capillary is about 0.0003 inches, 0.0076 millimeters, which is just about the same as a single red blood cell. A capillary is only about 0.04 inches long, 1 millimeter. If all the capillaries in a human body were placed end to end, the collective length would be approximately 25,000 miles, 46,325 kilometers, which is slightly more than the circumference of the Earth at the equator. 24,900 miles, 46,139 kilometers. How does exercise affect the heart?
Regular exercise increases the amount of blood the heart can eject with each beat. So fewer beats per minute are needed to maintain cardiac output. Exercise can increase cardiac output from 300 to 500 percent. And increase heart rate up to 160 beats per minute. Individuals who exercise regularly tend to have lower resting heart rates. What are the differences between arteries and veins? Both arteries and veins have three tissue layers, the inner lining, endothelium. The middle layer, smooth muscle, and the outer layer, connective tissue. However, the walls of the arteries are much stronger and thicker. To accommodate the blood under high pressure as it exits the heart. Many veins have valves to help return the blood to the heart. What are the symptoms of a heart attack? Although some heart attacks are sudden, most heart attacks start slowly, with mild pain. The following are signs of a heart attack, one chest discomfort. Usually in the center of the chest and lasting more than a few minutes too. Discomfort in other areas of the upper body. Such as one or both arms, the back, neck, jaw, or stomach 3. Shortness of breath 4. What are the some common cardiovascular diseases? Cardiovascular disease is a generic term for diseases of the heart, cardio, and blood vessels, vascular. Some cardiovascular diseases are congenital, present at birth, while others are acquired later in life. Heart diseases affect the heart, arteries that supply blood to the heart muscle, or valves that ensure that blood in the heart is pumped in the correct direction. Examples of heart disease are coronary artery disease, diseases of the arteries, which supply the heart with blood, valvular heart disease, diseases affecting the heart valves, congenital heart disease, and heart failure. Disorders of the blood vessels include arteriosclerosis, hypertension, high blood pressure, stroke, aneurysm, venous thrombosis, formation of blood clots in a vein, and varicose veins. What are the three layers of the heart wall? The wall of the heart is composed of three distinct layers. An outer epicardium, a middle myocardium, and an inner endocardium. What is a capillary bed? A capillary bed is a spider web like network that connects the arterial system with the venous system in a particular body region. 
a capillary bed may receive blood from more than one artery. What are anabolic steroids? Properly called anabolic androgenic steroids. Anabolic steroids are hormones that work to increase synthesis reactions, particularly in muscle. They are synthetic versions of the primary male sex hormone testosterone. They promote the growth of skeletal muscle, anabolic effects, and the development of male sexual characteristics, androgenic effects. When was the hormone leptin discovered? Leptin is a recently discovered hormone. Jeffrey Friedman, 1954, and his COL leagues published a paper in December 1994 announcing the discovery of a gene in mice and humans called obese, OB, that codes for a hormone he later named leptin, after the Greek word leptos, meaning thin. Leptin is a hormone made by the body's adipose tissue that regulates food intake and energy expenditure. Individuals who lack leptin eat tremendous amounts of food and become obese. Other signs such as nausea, lightheadedness, or breaking out in a cold sweat what is echocardiography? Echocardiography is a non-invasive method for studying the motion and internal vessels of the heart. This method uses ultrasound beams, which are directed into the patient's chest by a transducer. The transducer uses the ultrasonic waves, which are directed back from the heart to form an image. An echocardiogram can show internal dimensions of the chambers, valve motion, blood flow, and the presence of increased pericardial fluid, blood clots, or tumors. How is the heart protected from injury? Since the heart is continuously moving, it is protected against friction by a large pericardial sac with an outer fibrous layer and an internal serous layer. The internal layer produces fluid, which lubricates the sac in which the heart moves. The syncytium of the myocardium wraps the cavities of the heart in a continuous muscular sheet. Which other organs perform endocrine functions? Many organs perform endocrine functions in addition to their main functions. Some of these have been discussed in detail in this chapter, others are described in the chart below. What is the largest vein in the human body? The largest vein in the human body is the inferior vena cava. 
the vein that returns blood from the lower half of the body back to the heart. How is cardiac muscle different from skeletal muscle? Cardiac muscle, called the myocardium, is composed of a number of long branching cells that are joined by intercalated discs. An intercalated disc is an area where cell membranes of adjacent cardiac muscle cells are joined. There are also small spaces in cardiac muscle cells that create a direct electrical connection between cells by allowing ions to move freely between cells. The interconnecting matrix joins cardiac muscle cells into a single very large muscle cell called a syncytium, Latin for joint cells. Another difference between skeletal muscle and cardiac muscle is that cardiac muscle has pacemaker cells, which initiate contractions rhythmically rather than through neural stimulation. Cardiac muscle contraction lasts about 10 times longer than skeletal muscle contractions and cardiac muscle cannot produce sustained contractions as skeletal muscles do. What is an aneurysm? An aneurysm is a bulge in the weakened wall of an artery, most often the aorta. It is similar to what one would see when there is a bubble in the wall of a garden hose. If an aneurysm becomes large enough, it can burst. Resulting in a stroke if it is in a brain artery or massive hemorrhage if it is the wall of the aorta. If an aneurysm bursts, the massive bleeding is often fatal. What is the size and location of the heart? Heart size varies with body size. The average adult's heart is about 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters, long and 3.5 inches, 9 centimeters, wide or approximately the size of one's fist. The heart is located just above the diaphragm, between the right and left lungs. One third of the heart is located on the right side of the chest, while two thirds is located on the left side of the chest. What are the functions of capillaries? Capillaries are perhaps the most important of the blood vessels because they are the primary exchange points of the cardiovascular system. Gases, nutrients, and metabolic byproducts are exchanged between the blood in capillaries and the tissue fluid surrounding body cells. The materials exchanged move through capillary walls by diffusion, filtration, and osmosis. What are the functions of the cardiovascular system?
the cardiovascular system provides a transport system between the heart, lungs, and tissue cells. The most important function is to supply nutrients to tissues and remove waste products. What are the functions of the sex hormones? Testosterone is stimulated by luteinizing hormone, LH, from the pituitary gland. It regulates the production of sperm, as well as the growth and maintenance of the male sex organs. Testosterone also stimulates the development of the male secondary sex characteristics, including growth of facial and pubic hair. It causes the deepening of the male voice by enlarging the larynx. The estrogens are stimulated by follicle stimulating hormone, FSH, in the pituitary. They help regulate the menstrual cycle and the development of the mammary glands and female secondary sex characteristics. Luteinizing hormone LH, stimulates the secretion of progestins. Progesterone prepares the uterus for the arrival of a developing embryo in case fertilization occurs. It also accelerates the movement of an embryo to the uterus. Relaxin helps enlarge and soften the cervix and birth canal at the time of delivery. It causes the ligaments of the pubic symphysis to be more flexible at the time of delivery.